Hi everyone, welcome back to the fourth practicing video with Opus 10 number 4 by Frédéric Chopin. And also have a happy Chinese New Year. I might have had a little bit too much food yesterday night. If you know Chinese families, you will know the tradition to get stuffed with food until you're basically begging for mercy. So I was kind of in a food coma, got up late, organized some stuff, watched like 10 episodes of Friends and now it's already afternoon. So I know already this is going to be a late night's practice. But let's start with a piece. I've heard people call this piece one of the most technical demanding etudes. So there are already a lot of suggestions out there how to achieve the necessary technique for this piece. Also, it is kind of similar to the technique we used in the second etude. Um, if you remember, using your fingers like little hammers. That, in contrast to using your whole hand for each attack, will save you a lot of energy, which you will need if you want to get through those really virtuoso etudes. This etude, like the Opus 10 number no. 1, I have played before, and it has been in my repertoire for maybe three months or so, when I was preparing it for the preliminaries for the Chopin competition, which have been postponed now for over a year, for reasons I don't remember. So I hope to remember some of the work I've done before. I'll definitely do a lot of slow practicing here and I'll have to look a little bit deeper into the pedaling because in these scores, like in the etude before, there are no written indications on where or whether to use pedal at all. So I went back to my smart book and Posniak does have some suggestions for you how to pedal this, but it basically just tells you only to pedal the first and the last part of the phrase. This is again motivated by the idea that a lot of pianists use this piece as too much of a show-off. And if you use too much pedal or play this in an excessively dramatic way, um, the clearness of the melody really gets lost here. But on a side note, I think that pedaling is always dependent on the room. And since I am in a rather small place with my piano here, with almost no delay, I will probably um, put a dab of pedal on most of the staccato chords. The most difficult part for me are probably the bars 25 and 26, because here it becomes clear again how exact you have to be with the written articulations by Chopin. I don't know why exactly, but it's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around the three staccato chords in the left hand followed by the longer one, while the middle voice of the right hand does the exact opposite. pretty relieved that I've played this one before because I'm quite sure that I wouldn't manage to learn this etude in just one day. I'm trying really hard right now to make the switches between the melody from the right hand to the left hand and back and forth um, as smooth as possible and really do justice to all those smaller and larger sforzandi. Really it's like every time you read the notes there's something new in there. <laughs> of this piece, this seems to be a topic that is often neglected. This might be because it's so technical demanding, but I think it's also because the scores state so clearly what to do, and there are so many indications in here. Nevertheless, this piece should be more than just a quick rush. I like the description where it said that this piece of music does not let you rest emotionally, and that does add a taste of despair to the fieriness.
Yeah, I had a small disagreement with my lip there. <laughs> but apart from that, it was kind of okay and time's up anyway. So I should spend the next days making this cleaner and fixing the wrong notes. So bye for now and have a lovely Valentine's Day.